traditionally in Western society we wait to get sick and then we take a day off and join the legions of the unwell in doctors' surgeries pawing old germ-covered magazines. In some Asian societies the local doctor or healer would be paid a retainer to keep their patient healthy and the payment would stop if they became ill. This would be a terrible model now because of the high levels of obesity diabetes and general fatigue caused in most part by the terrible foods and drinks we consume. The problem with the prevention model is that we have to do it. We have to make the changes and give up some of the tasty junk that passes poorly for food. The problem with the treatment model is that you have to get sick, before you can be treated, and sometimes the first symptom is serious illness. The process to recovery may be long painful and expensive. Plus unless you have a death wish you will then be faced with having to make serious lifestyle changes in order to prevent a reoccurrence of your illness, and even then you may never fuller recover. This brings us back to the prevention model, which as the name implies would most likely prevent your illness from occurring in the first place. So now you may be eating in a similar way of the person recovering from illness, but of course you would never have had to get sick. You never have to experience the life-changing, painful loss which illness brings to all of those who experience it. There are many different ideas about prevention but we can break it down to what we know is bad for you and what we know is good for you. At the top of the bad list is sugar, in all of its disguises, the only people who disagree are the sugar industry, doctors in the employ of the sugar industry and idiots. It has caused more harm than anything else in the history of humans and continues to do so. Next are grains. Even if we discount the problems of gluten and pesticide residues, and flour chlorine bleaching we are left with a simple fact. Grains convert to sugars rapidly. This is basic biochemistry and is easily researched by looking at a high school textbook. The last to avoid are the toxic industrialized oils, which are mostly grain-based. The processing renders them harmful to human health. The healthy list is short. Olive, avocado, macadamia and coconut oil. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoy it please like us, follow us share this video with your friends, and please don't forget to subscribe.